In the last video, we discussed saving our flame project. In this video, we're going to start looking at saving your desktop into your library. And these are very different things. Now, to explain how you save your desktop to a library, I want to create a new library to really emphasize what is happening. So we can do that in a couple different ways. Coming down to the lower right corner, once again, we'll see several different options here. We see the name of the desktop we are currently working in. We also see a save button, don't click that yet. And we also see default library, which is the only library we have. But if I click on the little triangle, you'll see I get an option, create library. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna step away and click away so I discard that. If I come over to the gear, that is available for me in my media panel. I've got lots of different options. There's the save project option once again, same as the option we had in the lower right corner. But if I go up to new, I get all these options. I can choose new library. So I click on that and a new library is created and it's waiting for me to rename it. I'm gonna go in here with my arrow. I'm gonna get rid of the word new and I'll rename this library to be library C101. Now, notice the default library. It has this little yellow arrow indicating it is still the current selected library. Even though I have this library selected in the media panel, down here again, where we saw default library before, if I click on that now, I see my default library. It's got a blue check to it, indicating it is the current selected one. Then there's also library C101, the one I just created. I'll choose library C101 from this flyout and now look over here inside the media panel, you'll see that the little yellow arrow is now on that library. The, what's this representing is if I save my desktop, wherever that arrow is or whatever library is currently selected down here, they're the one and the same, that is where my desktop is going to be saved in. Now this is very different than me using control S or the save option from here, or the save project option from the gear. What's gonna happen when I click the save button, it's gonna take my desktop C101 and save it into my library C101. So let's do that. I click save, and now we'll come back over to our library, and I expand it, and there you'll see my desktop with the same reels, the same footage, everything that was up here in my working area of the desktop is now copied into this library. But this is what's very important. This desktop up here that I am working on is not the same desktop that is down here in the library. They are not connected. It is just a saved copy of this into my library. For example, if I take this clip and I drag and drop it onto real one, you'll notice in the desktop up here, it has been moved. Look down here, it has not been moved. They are separate. It's only when I resave this desktop to the same library, what should Flame do with the desktop that you currently have open and you're working in when it has the same name as a desktop that is already saved in your library. So if I click the save button, once again, I get this dialog box, an item named desktop C101 already exists. I get the options of replace, rename, add, or cancel. If I choose replace, you'll now notice when I expand the desktop once again, the file has been moved to reel number one. I overrode the existing desktop that was saved in my library. So why do you save your desktop to a library? You save your desktop as the ultimate backup of your work. What's happening in the desktop area can be changed very easily. And if you have not saved it to your library, those changes that you've made will be gone. While you're working in Flame, very often you will override or change the desktop that you are working in. Whether you're working on different shots or different parts of your project, this is a common workflow to override the existing desktop that you're working in. By saving your desktop to your library, you are saving it so that you can access it after changes have been done. So for example, let me just take this clip, bring it down here into reel number three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a specific look for this clip. The tools down below on the tool tab. The workflow is you select the tool that you want to use and then you apply it to a clip 
and you'll render a new clip back to the desktop based on the adjustments you've made with that tool. So for example, we have our menus. You'll see composite, look, filter, clip, utilities, plugins. I'll just go to look. I'm going to choose color correct tool. And right away, you'll notice that my cursor has changed to read, pick, clip, and it's also red. When you activate a tool, you'll get some different options over here along the right-hand side. Currently, this file only has a front. But if it had an alpha or something else embedded in it, you could access that. But we only have a front, so I take my cursor that reads pick clip. I click anywhere on that clip. And now it's asking me, when we are done with the color corrector, where do you want me to put this? I'm going to click and say, let's put it right next to it. So by clicking down, I now access the color correction tool. We're just going to do some adjustments really quick. I'll increase the saturation. I'll go over to my histogram choke my blacks in. I mean, I'm not really trying to create any effect here. I just want to make sure it's drastic enough that you get the point. Now, I choose render and flame is going to render that file. And then I click exit. I have a new file that has been placed on my desktop where I click down with the cursor that said render here. And if you look over inside the media panel, obviously you'll see the new clip is added. And what flame will do is update the name of the file with an abbreviation of the tool that was applied to it. So that's why we now see the same file's name with a dash CC for color correction as far as the name. Now I want to save this desktop to a library, but I don't want to save it to my library named library C101. I want to save it to my library named default library. So down below, I'm going to click on my little triangle and I'm going to choose default library. You'll notice again, the little yellow arrow has jumped. That's the currently selected library where your desktop will be saved. And I click save. Look back at the default library. We still have all the media that I had imported in there. And now I have a desktop named C101. And we can see that that has the new rendered file with the color correction. Let's do one more effect to another clip. Let's use this one here. So I choose glow. Again, my cursor changed to pick clip. I clicked on that. I say, I want you to render it right here. The glow parameters already have a default setting. So I'm just going to click render. It generates a new file and we choose exit. And now we have this new file with the glow that's been placed on that reel. Now keep in mind, I am purposely not going to save this desktop to the library, the default library, after I've created the glow effect. We did save it, of course, as you remember, when I did the color correction effect. Now there's a point where I'm working and I want to replace the desktop I'm working on with a different desktop. To keep this a little organized, let me just minimize or collapse this desktop. In fact, I'll just collapse the default library. There's several different ways of replacing your desktop. If I select this desktop, C10, actually, you know what? Let me rename this desktop so it's very clear what is happening. I'll just rename this desktop replace, okay? So we know right now my desktop that is active in my workspace is desktop C101. I have a desktop in my library that doesn't have those rendered files with the color correction and the glow selected named desktop replace. If I right click, I can choose replace desktop or with a desktop selected, I can go to the gear. I can go to the desktop file and choose replace desktop. Or if you pick up a desktop and you drop it on an existing desktop, either in the workspace panel up here or even over the desktop area, it's going to replace the currently open desktop that you're working in with the one you just dragged and dropped. Now let's go back to our default library and expand the original desktop we had in there, you'll notice the glow is not in there. That glow effect that I created is gone. You can undo a desktop replace, thank goodness. There's an undo option right here and a redo option. You can use those or on Flame, you can use Control Z. Now I know you're saying, wait a minute, you're on a Mac and that's normally Command Z. Well, because Flame originally came from a Linux OS, Control Z by default is the hotkey to undo. And we'll look at the hotkeys and how you can customize them in just a minute. But I just want to make sure you know if you accidentally did override a desktop before saving it as you wanted to, you can undo it. So this is why you save your desktops to your libraries so that it is the ultimate backup of your work while you're working on it.
and then you can easily switch and replace the desktop as needed. You can also create iterations of your desktop as you're working. And in the media panel, you can have as many libraries and as many desktops as you want or need. Okay, now I want to save my project. So again, I could go to the flame flyout and choose save project, or I'll hit control S and that's going to save my project at the state that it is. The other part to emphasize about the library and the reels is something we touched on a little bit earlier. And that was when I move media between the reels, I'm actually moving media. I'm not making a copy of it. So if I take these three clips and line them up such as this, I now have each one of them on one of the respected reels. But now I'm going to come back to my default library where I have these five other files. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to select them holding the shift key so they're now all selected. I'm going to pick them up, drag and drop them onto this reel, reel number four. You'll notice that they were added to this reel, as you would expect, but they were not eliminated or removed from the library. When you drag something from your library to a reel, you are making a copy of it. Remember when I imported these files into my library, I didn't have a folder or I didn't have a desktop already created, so it just put it at the root of the library. But now I've gone and made a copy of it onto the current desktop that I'm working in. If I expand the desktop C101 and we look at reel number four down here, those are not there. That's not what's in here. And the same goes for the desktop that we renamed called desktop replace. This is not in there because I haven't saved it yet. I've made a copy of that media. Now in the library, if I select clips from the root library and I drag them down to reel number four, I am moving them within the saved desktop in the library, not inside of this desktop up here. And if you delete something from within a library, you are deleting it from your actual project. So if I right click and I choose delete to the color corrected clip that we generated, it is now gone. It is not part of this desktop that is inside this library. All right, now I'm going to show you how we can build iterations of desktops. But before I do that, I want to replace the existing desktop I have opened that is named desktop replace, I want to replace it with this desktop C101. So we did it earlier, I pick it up, I drag and drop it. Now desktop C101 is the currently open and active desktop. Let me move some files around just to organize this a little bit. And going further, I'm going to delete my library that is named C101. I don't need the extra library, I just want to have my default one with the desktop that I just opened up. So I will right click over library C101 and I choose delete, it is now gone. Also just for organization, I'm gonna select this extra clip because I already have it right there. I will pick it up and I'll drag it down to the bottom of the UI and then you'll see a recycle can or a trash can appear. This is the gestural way of deleting things inside a flame. So I release that and now that file is deleted. So at this moment, the desktop that I have active, desktop C101, is exactly the same as the desktop that I have saved in my default library. I will hit the hotkey of Control S to save my flame project. For a demonstration, I'm going to create another effect. I will pick a stylized tool. I will activate the stylized tool, and I'll just click this clip here. I choose Pick. It gives me a default stylized effect. I'm going to leave it as it is. I choose render. It renders it out. We exit back out. Now I have a new clip with the stylized effect to it. Now I want to save this desktop, but I want to save it as an iteration. So now the only library I do have is the default library. So that is obviously what is selected to save the desktop in. You can see the little yellow arrow and I'm going to choose save. Again, I get that same dialog box I showed you a second ago. Every time you choose save with a desktop that you're working in that has the same name as a desktop that is inside the library that you're saving it to, you are going to receive this dialog box. 
Think of it as choosing Save As in another application and trying to save a file with the name that already exists. And that's why you will receive this dialog box asking you what to do. Instead of choosing Replace, I choose Rename. Now the dialog box opens. I can add this to be C102 instead and click Enter or hit the Return key. I now have two desktops inside my default library. They are independent of each other. Notice also that the currently open desktop is now the new desktop that I just saved, desktop C102. And I can switch between looking or having either one of them open by simply dragging and dropping it into the desktop area. If you save a desktop, I'll click save again, and you choose add, What's going to happen is a new desktop is automatically added to your library with the same name of the one you just saved. I'm going to first put desktop C101 as my active desktop by drag and dropping it. I'm going to select both desktops that are named C102, right click and choose delete. So now I am back to having just one desktop that is named desktop C101 in my default library and it matches what I have open at the current moment. Let me just put that file up there for organization. In the next video, we're going to explore the viewing panel in depth.